Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to williehow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about uh, in this video is the WAN local rule set on Unify. Last time we covered LAN local, so if you take that explanation of what LAN local was and put WAN in front of it, that's exactly what it is. It is uh, making sure that only allowed hosts, if any hosts, have access to services running on your UDM or your USG on any interface def uh, defined as a WAN interface. So let's take a look at that. So we're over here. We're going to go to firewall. We're going to go to WAN local. And by default, now this is a UDM, you can see that we're only allowing um, established related uh, sessions. Uh, we're dropping invalid state, so that's stateful, the stateful part of the firewall. And then we're allowing unified talk traffic, and that is because I have talk installed on this UDM. So we are not allowing, you know, by default, this set of firewall rules is going to block all of that traffic on the WAN port. So that's why the unified talk traffic to the local uh, device itself has to be allowed. So we could create a rule that allows um, HTTPS on WAN. And what we could do is come in here and say, you know, TCP and source would be any destination would be, um, we could do, let's see if we will let us select WAN. It doesn't allow us to se select WAN from the network. So we're either going to have to have an IP4 version or an IP version 4 group pointing to the UDM WAN or uh, destination could be, I don't know if we can specify that as uh, there or not. I haven't tried that specifically, but definitely if we do it like, uh, let's create a group. So let's see, let's do a group. Well, first of all, let's hop over to Unify devices here. And our WAN is 66.206. So we're going to come over here, we're going to add a group, and we're going to add, uh, we'll call it UDM WAN, 92.66.206, we'll save that, and now we'll go to WAN local. And we'll say allow HTTPS and we're going to accept it. We're going to put it before all the predefined rules. It'll be TCP, source would be any, or we could lock it down. And uh, destination would be UDM WAN and that same service ports that we looked at before. And so now you would be able to connect to whatever is on HTTPS um, or 80 on the UDM WAN port. But by default, that is it is blocked. You know, it's not a real good idea to do that. Now, it's a little different with Unify, you know, um, if you want to get to the actual, uh, you know, Unify interface from your WAN IP on your UDM, you can do this. But that's it. But you definitely don't want, uh, you don't want traffic from, from the WAN connecting to your UDM on, uh, SSH or um, any of those other services that could be running, you know, you need to keep those shielded from the WAN. Uh, this um, this unified talk traffic, you see there's a lot of things that are kind of ob obscured in here, so I'm going to dig in and see what that is. It's probably got to do with SIP connections and things like that, but uh, generally we don't allow many, if any. So edge routers especially, I don't ever allow remote administration to the UI, uh, we you have to have a VPN, and that's how you get to the UI, or you're already behind it. But 
If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Those links are down below if you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or using our clearly marked affiliate links. Those are all down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, if you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.